Yeah, I mean, workouts have been going really well. Um, you know, coming off of last year where we had a nice little run in the conference tournament and got um, you know, six outs away from the championship game, the guys, the returning guys anyway, it was a really good experience. So I think they come in with, um, you know, kind of knowing what's expected now and we hadn't been there in a few years. So uh, we have a little different jumping off point than we've had a, the last couple seasons. Oh, we're hungry. I mean, last, uh, last season, MAC tournament and a bitter taste in our mouth. You know, we're real close to moving, going to that MAC championship game. So everyone's ready to get after it, especially the upperclassmen, the lower the underclassmen really jumping in there. We're ready to get after it too. I'm uh, just really excited to get down there. I mean, uh, obviously it's super cold here and it'd be fun to get down in the warmth. But besides that, go play some good competition and start playing some baseball. Everybody's just ready to, to get playing. You know, we've been working hard, lifting hard, practicing hard. Uh, in the cold. So everybody's ready to just go down south and you know see what this hard work has done for us. You know having that experience is big because they can really kind of slow the game down for the younger guys and like I mentioned uh, we're gonna have some freshmen both on the mound really and in the field that are gonna play quite a bit and are gonna be asked to do a lot and um, so the more that those veteran guys can help them uh, into their roles uh, the better off we're gonna be but we feel really good I mean you know Big Mike Mideshevsky uh, Delhi's the senior, Peterson, Q, Montgomery, and guys who are going to play a lot. Jeremy Stidham's the senior behind the plate who played a lot for us last year. Uh, Delhi and Beaton on the mound. So um, they'll play big roles. It's kind of funny. It feels like a lot of seniors and some freshmen that together could make, uh, could make for a pretty good season. It's been uh, really nice, really fortunate. Uh, the senior class is really like close as a whole, so it's been pretty easy to kind of get like the right message and everything across to the guys when you have like the whole senior class kind of pulling in the same direction. But I mean, we're a tight unit. Um, leadership, everyone's kind of participating in that, you know. Guys are getting on each other, something's not going right, you know. It's a real tight unit that's kind of um, feeding to the underclass, but you know, they're starting to be a little more vocal too. I mean, the senior class is really close, um, but honestly, it's, it's not even the senior class that needs to lead. You know, we have a team full of leaders, whether it's, it's a freshman guy or a junior guy. You know, everybody's stepping up, helping to lead the team. So, um, you know, when, when we may be slacking off, we've got another, another guy there to help remind us what the end goal is. We're looking at a freshman right now, Zach Owings at first base. He'd never played there before. Um, so we shifted him there in the fall. He bought in. He was all for, you know, get me on the field. Is this going to give me a chance to play? Let's do it. And uh, he's picked it up real quick. He's, he's a great athlete, really good hitter for us. Um, so um, he's going to spend a lot of time at first. We got two new middle guys, uh, Pegs and Hager, who both have picked it up real quick as well and um, are really far along in their development already. So we expect big things from them. Nick Jones is a freshman who get, get time behind the plate and at third. A um, couple guys on the mound, uh, James Harness, uh, McMurtry is a junior college transfer, Brad Allen a Juco transfer, should all be able to make impacts for us early, hopefully. Our uh, freshmen and our newcomers are doing great. Uh, in the fall, it's a little harder, but to tell who's going to be like really good for us but once you get to the spring it kind of smooths out everyone's more calm and knows the situation and how to do things so we're pretty excited for a lot of our freshmen you know they brought in a good good incoming class and um you know uh they're they're young but they can play so uh regardless of the age in the infield i think i think we're going to work well uh the chemistry's there so i mean at the end of the day if you can pick it up and throw it you know, you're going to be okay. Yeah, Missouri, Florida Gulf Coast down there, and then we get a few other teams on the back end at least that are coming out of the gym like us or coming out of an indoor facility um, so uh, we can be on a little more equal footing. But yeah, Louisville, Fresno State, got to go out west for them, Sanford. So we really try to keep the schedule challenging. I want the guys to know that um, a team like Louisville or Missouri or Fresno or whoever have maybe been to some more regionals lately or get more notoriety, you know, they they put their pants on the same way we do and they're the same really it's the same game and uh, the more we play those teams I think the the less you have that kind of unknown factor of oh these guys are supposed to be so good and I think the guys who have been here anyway have kind of seen that over the last couple seasons we had Florida beat last year we had Arizona State beat last year and it's still just part of the process you know now we're I think they're kind of understand we can play with these guys now the next step is finishing one of those ball games. I mean, we're going to play some big time teams. We're going to play some good teams like Louisville. You know, they always got a top offense. Missouri's got a few bats. Um, Fresno State can swing a little bit. So you know, we're going to be playing some good teams. So it'll be good and play those teams, get in the MAC play. But you know, same thing any day. Baseballs, anyone can be anyone any day. So you got to be ready to go every day. Before it's going to be a really good test. We go face Missouri. 
go to Louisville and Fresno. So those are all gonna be really good tests for us, but ultimately it's just gonna prepare, uh, prepare us for MAC baseball. And uh, that's our ultimate goal this year is to win the MAC and go into the tournament and win the tournament. You said coming back home and MAC play, um, I'm really excited about our prospects. I mean, I think we have a very good chance for the first time, at least here in my third year, where I can feel really confident saying we should be able to compete for a MacWest championship. Um, I think that's kind of the next step for us as well. And, and I, think, um, I think we're right there where we should be able to compete for one.